Yo everybody and thank you for all the recent support and last episode. Um, we're just going to skip the recap today and just get straight into it. Season 5, episode 6. Um, but let's just go. I have some meetings off site today. Want to stop by and check on them? Okay. Thanks. The sheriff already thinks these attacks are connected to us. None of these attacks are coming out of my camp. I know that for sure. Then I need your help. Find out who it is. Because I gotta shut this shit down. I'll see what I can find out. 50. Half of our last meal. If you were to double your haul back, say 60 keys, I could move half of that in a day. No bigger risk for you. 30, 40, 100 keys is all the same traffic in charge. I pay you another 100 on top of what the cartel gives you. We don't take a bite out of any of it. If you decide it makes sense for Sam Crow, you take the meeting. Bring everybody up to speed. If you pass on the deal, we keep things as is. You let me know. You can tell 100% Jax really doesn't want to do business with him. Um, the club and Jax have made it clear it is only temporary, um, but you can see 100% that they don't want to do business with Pope here. Um, maybe they can still use this to advantage. Um, I'm guessing they're going to take it to the table here, let the rest of the club know, but you can tell they're not 100% keen on doing business with Pope, which is understandable because of what happened to Opie. She fought back, gave one of them a pretty good scratch. Good for her. DNA? I sent it to the lab. This has got to be the East Dub crew hitting me for bringing their guys in. They answered the damn and Pope. Thought he'd sign off on hitting the sheriff. Then it's the same crew doing the other attacks. Retaliation of some sort, either way, it's tied to the MC. Yeah. I'm starting to see that. Mr. Roosevelt, may I speak with you? I'm very sorry. So those two didn't make it. Um, this is going to send the sheriff on fire now. He already thinks the MC is tied to these attacks. Um, so he's going to take this well personal now. Way too personal. Um, it's understandable, but... This is going to go to levels and extremes where the sheriff is going to react against the club. Because he already thinks they're behind it. Um, but these two, they, they didn't make it, unfortunately. So that is really, really all... It's all tied down to Clay again, really, to be honest. O2 levels are in the mid-90s. You're doing the rehab. Yeah. Well, unless you're planning on climbing any mountains, you're not going to need that anymore. Okay. Good. So, keep up with the rehab. Mm -hmm. No cigars. I'll see you in two months. How'd it go? Uh, not so good. Sorry, man. Doesn't even need it. You've just heard the doc there say to him that he doesn't even need it. Um, so I, I don't like how close Juice and Claire get in here. I think it's a really, really dangerous situation. And, you know, Juice at this point is just being manipulated. Um, you know, he's, he's going to feel sorry for Clay. And that, that's dangerous as it is. Clay is still around the table observing everything, watching everything. So I don't think this is a good thing. Um, Clay is going to use this and he doesn't even fucking need it. Clay is going to use this um, to his advantage 100%. Everybody knows that Pope is tied to the streets. But nobody can touch him because he's too smart. Attacking a cop's wife? That ain't smart. It feels local to me, you know? Like someone in Charming, uh, maybe working out a, a personal beef. Somebody stirring the pot, getting folks all scared. Trying to tear shit up from the inside. You got any proof of that? Not yet. But it uh, looks like Rita clawed back at one of them. And, uh, Sheriffs are running the DNA. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll keep you posted. Appreciate it. I really like that, you know. I really like how Unser's not a cop anymore and he's still putting things together, um, things that happen in Jarman, you know. So I really like that. Um, Unser's already put it together. You can tell by the looks there that Unser and Clay were giving each other. Um, it was plain dumb conversation, really. You know one of those conversations you have with someone, um, you can 100% tell just by eye contact. 
um, what's going on, but it's just plain dumb. Um, so Anson knew it was clay, or knows it's clay, something to do with clay, and clay knows that Anson's getting on, getting on to what's happening. So it was a conversation of plain dumb, but Anson's real smart for not being a cop anymore, and you know, still putting things together. Go to your bedroom. Why? What do you want? Walk. Pope can push another 30 keys east through Reno. You talk to Luis, Galindo can easily up the supply. Now what that means for us is we'll haul 60 keys back from AZ. Pope gives us the 50 he was gonna take, adds another 100 on top. I've seen guys like David and Pope before and how they operate. They make your offers it's too good to pass up. They line your pockets with easy cash. Before you know it, you weren't shackles. Call it a massa. My club is never going to be anyone's boy. Clay's right, man. This shit gets us deeper. We're getting out of the cold call. I'm sorry, man. It's a mistake. No? Nah. Yeah. Yay. All right. Six, five. Passes. Don't know about you guys, but you can tell 100% the table is divided there. Um, every single member there that's 100% behind Jax, you can tell it's a straight up yes. Like Happy, Tig, Chibs, Bobby, even Jackson. Like they, they all said yes, Phil. Um, so you can tell they're 100% behind him. Um, but the table's 100% divided. You can tell who's with Clay on that. Um, you know, Juice was nodding his head when Clay was explaining his points of views. And you know, the nomads that have recently just come into the char. Um, they're all with Clay as well, so it's a little bit something's going on there. Um, you guys probably picked up on that, but the table's 100% divided, it's not united, so um, there's a big difference. And when a club is when the table is divided, um, yeah, it's, it's it's not a good thing. Get undressed, <laughs> what naked in the bed, both of you, you are out of your goddamn head. Do it! No! Sweet brother. Easy. Easy. We gotta think outside the hood, boys. Staying in hope sunshine is good for all of us. You clear this with Romeo? Luis. He's good. Cartel likes the idea of being in business with Pope. A lot of shit happening with you at the head of the table. Alright. All right, let's do this more often. We miss you guys. How do I know this is the right place? Call Tig. Have him bring the wagon. Sergeant, guys, that's 100% the sergeant. Looks like this episode is happening. Um, from the sergeant's end, re retaliation um, for, you know, the sergeant initiating that in the box. Um, it looks like it's happening. Um, so they're going to get him. This episode, it looks like they're going to get him. Suck his dick. Easy, 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 man. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Get back in bed. Get this, Matan? Huh? Hello. Go ahead, Carla. No, go ahead. Come on. Come on, do it. Yeah, do it, do it! I'm sorry. I just wanted to go out watching you do your thing. No! Straight like. This one's a problem. No, she's not. <laughs> Hell, you dude. Jesus Christ. She's collateral damage. Hope's murder. Yeah, what about him? Find a pipe. Jax knows you're angry, but the club needs you to reverse your testimony. This Rico case will kill Sam Crow. 
anything you want, anything you need, they'll try and make it happen. Uh, get on your knees. What? Get on your knees. Do not make me do something horrible. No pipe. But I found these. Small world. Yeah, it is. I want to hear how sorry you are. I am sorry. God, sorry. Please, I'll do anything you want. Help anyone inside, please! I'm still not feeling it. Are you doing this? I got this. Jack! Jack! So the sergeant there has been handled, um, the one who initiated it in the box, the one who most likely could have stopped it out of all of it there, um, he, he has been handled, so they've dealt with that. Um, there is only from this point two people um, responsible for Opie's death that they still need to settle the score with, and that's the one that actually did it, and of course Damon Pope. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how, how the club gets those two in this season. Yeah, I am. That was really good for me. Hey. Hey. How'd your meetings go? Oh, boring. Pointless, actually. Yeah. That kind of day. Mm -hmm. I got someone uh, cleaning rugs at the house. See ya. Bye, babe. Good to see ya. See you later. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, anytime. Your deal's a go. The club and the cartel signed off. Good. Glad it all worked out. Next meal's in a week. We start then. Look inside. Close the door. These attacks. Friends, family, now cops. All that blowback lands in your lap. Somebody's trying to compromise you. So trust no one. Loyalty has contingencies. You know what happens if I take a bullet? Your head squad settles the score. First one who kills my killer gets five million dollars. Fear protects me. Greed ensures it. Next time I have a spare five mil, I'll hire myself some assassins. You don't need money, Jackson. Just the ability to see the inevitable. Pope is so dangerous, man, so dangerous. But you can see in a way that he's kind of mentoring Jax. Um, I think he's definitely teaching him, um, which I think is, is is even more dangerous, to be honest. So he's, he's mentoring Jax there. And yeah, that was a conversation that the deal was going ahead. Um, the club is pushing Pope's new deal um, ahead. So they're using him even more now, which I think temporarily is the best thing for now. It's an Aru guy. What the hell is it? He's a friend. Am I a friend, Gemma? You gotta trust me. If we hooked up right now, it, it would just ruin us. There ain't no us, Gemma. You better wrap your head around that fact. Cause you're gonna die alone. Just like me. Wow, Ansel so speaking some facts a little bit there. Um, you can tell when you've pissed Ansel off, um, he's definitely 100% speaking some facts. I just had a conversation with Damon Pope. He assures me these attacks aren't him. Which means we ain't the cause. Why would you be sitting down with Pope? Let's just say we've reached an understanding. One that stops getting people killed. Why don't we consider the same thing? Help each other find these scumbags that are shitting on our town. I can't imagine how much pain you're in right now. But we ain't the cause. Please let me know if I can help. See Otto? No, um... I put in a request, but they were backlogged. I'm back next week. I can do this. I promise. How was Oakland? It's fine. We're working things out with Pope. He's not behind these attacks. Otherwise, it's a pretty quiet day. Yep. Real quiet.
therapist warned me about this. Can I buy you a drink? Mom? Why not? Sorry, man. We didn't know that she was gonna... <laughs> Idiots! You weren't supposed to kill her! This is the end of the episode, guys, and you can see there towards the end of what Kalash just said. Um, that those three weren't supposed to kill her. Um, so that's just confirmed that these four members here are behind the Nomad attacks. Um, so it's going to be very intriguing to see what happens, very interesting to see what happens um, throughout the next few episodes. Anyway, I just, I've just i got to be out, I've got to be somewhere. I do appreciate you guys sticking around for this episode. I do apologise it was a bit of a short one. Um, I haven't interacted with you guys as much. Um, but the next next episode, I definitely will make sure of that. Um, it's just I've got to be out. I've got to be got to be somewhere. Um, so that aside, thank you all for recent support. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Regardless, it was a short one today. Um, but yeah, catch you in the next one, guys.